welcome back. This is Andy and I'm coming at you today with a super quick and easy unleavened bread recipe. I love using this recipe. The flatbreads come out really flaky in the middle. It's so, so good. Only four ingredients and it's perfect for your Easter table. So let's get started. Here's what you're gonna need to get started. Two cups of whole wheat flour, half a cup of water, half a cup of olive oil, and salt to taste. That's it, let's get started. So in a large mixing bowl, we're gonna go ahead and add our olive oil and our water. And we're gonna go ahead and give this a mix until it's well emulsified. In well incorporated like this, you're gonna go ahead and add your salt. I'm using about a teaspoon of salt because this is the only seasoning we'll be adding to our bread. And we'll go ahead and give this a quick mix before moving on to the next step. The final step is to go ahead and add our flour in and get that mixed up. As you're mixing in your flour, you want to be careful not to over mix this. You just want to mix it until it's well incorporated, but you don't want to mix it as if you were kneading bread. Um, so just make sure to watch for that and we'll be back when this is all incorporated. When you're done mixing, it should look something like this. Uh, your dough should be soft to the touch, easy to handle. It should be greasy because of the olive oil that we use. I'm going to cook this on the stove top, but alternately you can cook this in the oven. If you want to know how to prepare this to cook it in the oven, just go ahead and look at the description box below. I've got all of the instructions down there. It's really easy. It only takes 10 minutes in the oven. You would definitely enjoy it that way. But today I'm going to go ahead and cook it on the stove top. So I've gone ahead and split the dough into four equal parts and then I'm just going to go ahead and form them into a disc. So I wanted to show you how I form these. I just um, roll them out with my hands and I'm going for like a more rustic look so I didn't try too hard to make them very circular looking or anything and I left these kind of pockets in them it'll actually flake up um, and it gives it a really good texture um, which is why I chose to do it that way um, but let's get started and get these cooked up I've got a nonstick pan over medium heat and I'm just gonna go ahead and Take one of these and just set it in there. And we'll just give it a few minutes. It's been on here for about three minutes. We're gonna go ahead and give it a flip. We'll leave it on for a couple more minutes and we'll check on it and we'll do the rest. So this one's all done. I'm gonna go ahead and cook up the other three and I'll meet you back when we're all set. So the other two are still cooking, but I couldn't wait to try these, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try them. I like to serve them with a little drizzle of honey. Seriously so good. Because I didn't need it too much, it has like all these little flaky layers in it. It's amazing, it gives it like this really great texture. So good. You have to try it, super easy to make, only four ingredients, perfect for Passover. I hope you all have a wonderful Easter and thanks again for watching. See you next time.